And by the way, have any of you ever heard the term constructive criticism? Throw it out of your vocabulary because it's an oxymoron. To construct is to build up, to criticize is to tear down. When you give feedback, it's not in the manner of what you did right, what you did wrong, positive and negative, good and bad. The way we want to give feedback is this way. Here's what you're doing well, appreciative, and here's what you can do to be even better constructive. Appreciative and constructive. And the one word you do not want to put between those two, here's what you're doing well and here's what you can do to be better, the one word you don't want to put between those is what? Any guesses? If you put the word but between those two, people will tune you out. You become Charlie Brown's teacher, blah, 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 blah. Psychologists have validated that when you use the word but, people tune you out. It's here's what you're doing well, appreciative, keep doing that, and here's what I think you can do to be even better, constructive. It's how we coach our kids, it's how we mentor our children. It's what allows human beings to grow, to advance, to become more effective. Here's what you're, and by the way, we don't put the appreciative in there to be manipulative, not in any way. The reason you put appreciative in there is because when you call out and offer somebody appreciative feedback, they will display that behavior more often and to a stronger, deeper degree. Think about the last time somebody gave you appreciative feedback. Hopefully we've all gotten some recently. But anytime you see that person, you're probably thinking, man, they really like when I do whatever they gave you feedback on. And you do it even more. And what's your name, sir? Michael, I like that name. So suppose, Michael, you're on my team, and I give you some feedback. I say, Michael, I really appreciate the fact that when we have team meetings, you're always on time, you're organized, and you contribute in the meeting. I really appreciate that. What's Michael thinking the next time I call a team meeting? Hey, Mike really likes it when I'm on time. So guess what he does? He's on time, and he, he even contributes more. You water what you want to see grow. When you see somebody displaying the behaviors that you know are going to benefit your store, your organization, your team, or this organ the, the entire company, call it out. Give the appreciative feedback, and then give some constructive feedback as well as to what they can do to be even more effective. Any of you have a small child at home, so, a small child that's learning to walk maybe? So I have two children. I remember teaching them to walk a long time ago standing behind them, they're almost bouncing out of the skin, they take their first step, and what do they do? Boom, they fall. Do you boo them? Boo, that ain't walking, kid. Get up, you slacker. I've been walking 50 years, and that ain't it. No, you don't boo them. You give them the appreciative and the constructive feedback. You tell them, here's what you're doing well. Keep doing that. And then you give them the constructive. Here's what you can do to be better. Take your time. Keep your balance, move a little slower. It's the combination of both that moves people forward. If all you did was boo them and give constructive, they would be crawling into kindergarten. 